What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very, very important. For the past two to three weeks, I've been testing out Facebook ads to get Facebook leads, and I wanna share with you the conclusion. Now, if you don't know, I've been selling real estate for 17 years, and I've never bought leads. I tried Zillow leads out when they first came along. I did a three-month package and immediately canceled that package as soon as it was over. I found that the leads were really low quality and very expensive. And this is when Zillow leads first came out. So you can imagine since then, the quality has went down and prices have went up. So in today's world, the Zillow leads are even more expensive and even lesser of quality. So I'm definitely a proclaimer of a non-buyer of internet leads for my real estate business. However, I'm also very big on adapting, trying new things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. So that's why I wanted to try Facebook leads. I've never tried Facebook leads. I've only used social media and my real estate business to build brand and advertise my listings. Now on the flip side, I've spent nearly 200,000 on social media ads that's Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook for my coaching business. Okay, so nearly 200,000 I've spent on social media advertising for my real estate coaching business, and I'm gonna get into that subject on another video, so stay tuned for that. But I did wanna dabble in this Facebook lead world and just see what happens. I wanted to dip my toe in for a second, see what I could do with it. You know, with all the experience I have with advertising on social media for my coaching business, I've learned a lot. So I wanted to take that knowledge and apply it to my real estate business for leads, okay, not just building brand, not just for advertising, but actually to acquire leads, people that might want to buy or sell a property. So I've been running ads to my area for the last three weeks, tried a bunch of different ads, a lot of different objectives, a lot of different ways to entice them to click, give me their information and allow me to follow up with them and see what in the world I can do to help them. I think the entire goal with any lead, I don't care where you get your lead from, I think at the end of the day, it's voice to voice is where the connection is really made. Okay, and then from there, your intent has to be to genuinely want to help them and care about what they have going on. On one of my latest Instagram posts, someone commented, how do I not take it personal when someone doesn't buy from me or someone doesn't list from me? And my answer was that you don't care about it because you genuinely want to help them. And you should genuinely want them to make the decision that's best for them. And if that decision that they made that they thought was best for them was to not work with you, then you should be happy for them and you should congratulate them on that. Meanwhile, moving on to more potential clients that we can help that will work with us. So back to the Facebook leads. I ran these ads and I was picking up leads for a dollar, two dollar, three dollars a lead. So as I would get the lead, I would call them up. I would have a conversation with them. What can I do to help you? I saw you click my Facebook ad and I would have these conversations with the people that clicked on my ad. And what I realized was, is that the people that were clicking on my ad were just regular, random people in my market, which is what we want here. We're looking for people in our market, okay? But I came to the realization that these were just random people scattered across my market. There really wasn't any heads or tails of what was happening with who it was, what they own, what they were looking to do. Most all of them were not looking to buy or sell right now. They were just more curious about whatever the ad was or whatever I was advertising, the giveaway, or whatever I was doing on the ad. I tried a bunch of different things. They were just curious in that. Maybe they were curious in more details on a listing. Maybe they were curious about this or that, whatever the case may be. They were just interested necessarily in the ad, um, maybe something I said in the ad, but they weren't really looking to buy or sell today. So this was very, very interesting to me because a light bulb went off and it clicked that what I'm teaching the world to do in terms of strategy to build your real estate business is absolutely, hands down, the very best, most efficient, most effective way to build your real estate business. When I came to this realization and it clicked, I immediately turned all the Facebook ads off that were there to generate leads, and here's why. 
If I'm running ads on Facebook to generate leads, which leads on Facebook, let's face it, we're literally just collecting contact information from people on Facebook. They could be looking to buy, they could be looking to sell, they could be looking to buy or sell now, they could be looking to buy or sell in the future, years down the road, never, who knows, it's random. Now I'm spending a dollar, two dollar, three dollars a lead, sometimes even four dollars depending on what it is. Even if I'm spending 50 cents a Facebook lead, Okay, what I'm literally doing is I'm spending money to get people's contact information so that I can then call them. And what's worse about that is I have to wait on the lead to come through. And then I realized everything, everything about Zillow leads, everything about online leads in general, what we're doing with online leads is we're just getting random people's contact information in our market. Okay, what I do with my coaching program, what I do with Red X is it's two and a half cents for phone number, for address of targeted people. Okay, so let's take this two scenarios. Facebook ads, let's say you get a hundred leads. What's that gonna cost you? A hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, depends on you know how much it is per lead. Let's say it's 50 cents a lead, that's $50, okay? $50 for random people in your market scattered around, different properties, some of them don't even own, they're renting, never gonna buy, unqualified, whatever the case may be, okay? Then you, you probably have some, you probably have a couple high quality leads in there somewhere, okay? So that's the Facebook side of this. Now let's look at the Red X side of this. Two and a half cents per phone number, two and a half cents versus the 50 cents, okay? So huge difference here. With Red X Geo Leads, we're gonna spend $2.50 for 100 leads that are targeted, that own the type of property we wanna sell, that are in the price range that we want to be in. Now, I don't know if you can get Facebook leads for 50 cents a piece, I think it's more gonna be like $1, $2, $3 per lead, probably like $2.50. Even if it's 50 cents though, okay? $50 versus $2.50, and these are concentrated, targeted prospects. How much you spend on Facebook leads is gonna fluctuate. Over here, it's exactly two and a half cents per lead. Also, let's talk about the time frame that we have to wait on the leads over here for Facebook. Whereas over here on Red X, click of a mouse and you have your 100 leads. By the way, you can get as many leads as you want over here with Red X. It's, you're not limited. And it is unlimited because you can never call all the property owners in your market ever in your life. So I think this was crazy and I'm so glad that I did this and tested this out and I gave it my 100%. I was fully committed. What I was thinking was is that what if I can run Facebook ads and just collect information, get the emails, put them on my weekly email? That's what I was thinking, you know, let's let's get more people, let's put them in my weekly email, and boom, 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 they can start getting my weekly email and, and manifest into more business, more clients. I'm also gonna call them, I'm also gonna talk to them, I'm also gonna have these incredible conversations and start these relationships that are gonna last for the rest of my life. I'm gonna get referrals, repeat business, referrals of referrals, the whole nine yards. I was thinking there's no way to lose, and I still don't think there's any way you can lose with Facebook leads. If you get Facebook leads for say $2 a piece, you get 100 of them for $200. You know, there's a random people in your in your area and, and everything. I still think that is an incredible bargain. Okay, let me make that clear. I still think that is an incredible bargain because out of those 100 people, let's say you get, you know, 10, 15 of them that you have really good connection with long term, okay? Even if you get five to 10 people out of that group that you have a really strong long-term connection with, that's worth so much more than $200. That's gonna be more like 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 over the life of your career. So don't get me wrong here, I still believe that any contact with people in your market is great. However, in this business, we have to be efficient. I've said it many times, real estate is a do or die business. We have to be extremely careful with how we're spending our time because days go by so fast. 
And if we're not productive doing the things that we need to do to succeed, then we're going to be in trouble pretty quickly. Our bills keep coming in. Time goes by so fast. We need production right now. And that's why I don't want you to sit around waiting on Facebook leads, waiting on leads in general that cost you an arm and a leg. I would rather you spend minimal money and target the people, the exact people that you want to be your clients. And I want you to work on your communication skills and I want you to build those relationships and develop those friendships. These are going to be friendships for the rest of your life. And this is where, this is how, this is why you build an incredibly large real estate business. If you decide to go the paid lead route, all you're doing is you're putting time because you have to wait on the leads and money because the leads are very expensive in between you and what you inevitably have to do anyway, which is make calls. As soon as you get the lead, you got to call them but you're just waiting on the lead to come in so you can call. Why not spend minimal money and get leads of a targeted area right this second? No waiting. Let's get the leads. Let's call the leads right now. What are we waiting for? Why are we spending all this money? Let's spend almost no money and let's call the targeted people right this second. Now what I'm going to continue to use Facebook for is to advertise my listings and to build my brand. I'm going to continue marketing on Facebook and Instagram as hard as I can to my area, to my past clients, so on and so forth. I'm going to advertise listings. I'm going to advertise deals. I'm going to advertise information. And I'm going to continue to brand myself on these platforms because I believe that that's the most efficient way that a real estate agent can use these platforms is by building brand and marketing your listings. Okay, guys, so that was my short-lived experience with Facebook leads. I hope you got a lot out of this. I just wanted to share my perspective and kind of what happened there. My coaching program is 100% free. It's the first completely free coaching program. That's at zero2diamond.com. There's almost 20,000 agents in the program right now to date. We're growing incredibly fast and we're helping so many agents. There's a 90 day action plan, full course, live training sessions, and direct access to me. You also save $150 on Red X and I get you set up with all the tools that I personally use in my business. Also, I have a couple of events coming up. I'll be in Dallas on September 19th through the 21st. That's the WGR Summit. Incredible lineup of speakers there. I'm also going to be in Birmingham October 21st. That's going to be an all-day workshop. There's going to be six hours of CE credits in the state of Alabama for anyone who comes to that. I'll also be in Charlotte. That's going to be October 24th, and I'll be at the Hyperfast Agent Summit in D.C. That's going to be November 11th and 12th. So if you're in any of those areas, I would love to see you. Shake your hand, take a picture, say what's up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? Let me know what in the world I can do for you, and let's go!